It's a Metal Tech Prada 120 150 upper link. This is all single point CNC machined on the inside of the threads. And what that means is the tubing is one piece. We do not take a separate part and weld it on to give it threads. We actually take the tubing, put it in CNC machine and thread almost three inches inside this thing. So with a weld on thread bung, you only get about that much thread engagement. But by single point machining the entire tubing, we're gonna get that much thread engagement. So significant difference. And the only way you can achieve that is to actually machine the tubing itself. So it's all DOM tubing, US made. And then we have the grease zerk area. And then of course our bushings have grease glands built inside of them for the grease to be able to, to work their way around the inside of the, of the bushing shell. But when we ship these out, we actually assemble them in advance. And what we do is that we go ahead and take the uh, Curry Johnny joint and we go ahead and put a jam nut on it. Jam nuts on place. Now, we typically will take this and dip it in red lithium grease prior to assembly. And the reason we use red lithium grease is it's a waterproof grease that's gonna help with our threads to make sure that uh, the threads in the long term are doing, doing very well and very healthy. But I'm gonna go ahead and thread this on and you can see how many threads this thing has on the engagement. It's not just a, a few. <laughs> you can actually put this end at the axle or this end at the frame uh, it doesn't really matter whatever's going to be the easiest for you on your installation. And aside from that, when you're installing it, follow our bushing guidance, which is glove up, grease the snot out of the bushings, super greasy, get them all greasy. doesn't matter if you get grease all over the tubing, it wipes right off. But you're going to put these in and they're going to press in. You then take your center bushing sleeve and it's going to get pressed in all the way in there as such. The grease zerk that you're gonna install here is only for maintenance. So check your nuts. Uh, we put this patch in with all of our links, uppers and lowers. And it's important because the jam nut here, you need to make sure continues to be uh, jamming. <laughs> it needs to be tight and keeping things from moving. Uh, if the jam nut cannot back off without the Johnny joint turning, then you're not tightening the jam nut. So checking your jam nuts, you're going to check the jam nut by coming in with your wrench. You're going to make sure the jam nut rotates on its own, not with the Johnny joint. If the Johnny joint moves with it, that's not a good thing. You want to break that jam nut free. If the jam nut moves independently, you're good. Bring the jam nut back down again and torque that sucker back down.